Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited right now because currently to my left are the Scentsy Bring Back My Bars for January 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar, hello, welcome. I'm Drew. I am an independent Scentsy consultant. I've been doing it as a little side fun thing for a few years now, and I love it. Scentsy warmers are beautiful. They fit into my decor. I have one there. This acute copper, one of my favorites. Love Scentsy Bars, love Scentsy Warmers. And I will say Scentsy Bars last so much longer than Vendor Wax. I do love my Vendor Wax. I love the different fragrances and the way that they mix and mingle and you can do a lot of blends, but there is nothing like a Scentsy Bar in a Scentsy Warmer for performance. Scentsy performs so well for me almost every time. Yeah, there's ones that aren't as strong as always from everyone, but for the most part, Scentsy Wax just performs really well for me. And 2023 is going to focus a lot more on Scentsy than vendors. I'm going to step back, pull the reins on some vendor wax this year, just because it's a lot of just watching the website and, and like Hunger Games and it can just get really overwhelming over time for me. And I haven't been buying a lot of vendor wax lately. Um, a few here and there, but nothing crazy like I was. And I'm honestly happy. I'm happy filling up a basket, using it up, and, you know, not refilling it. And if you don't look, you're not tempted. I did leave a lot of vendor groups that I never even ordered from. I just was joining and lurking. And maybe one day, but now I'm like, I don't even need to be in them anymore, to be honest. So, and I'm working through some vendors that I just have a little bit left and working through my samples. And it feels really, really good. But... I love my Scentsy, and there's going to be a lot more Scentsy content in 2023. That's for sure, starting with the Bring Back My Bars. So every year in January and June, Scentsy releases typically 20 to 25 bars for Bring Back My Bars. So there are scents that have retired from the catalog that aren't around anymore, and you now have a chance to vote for them back. And then they pick the top either 20 or 25 this year season it's 25 to bring back for one month only i'm not going to get into the whole add it to your sensi club if you're unfamiliar with sensi club shoot me a message either here or on my instagram we can talk about it but essentially sensi club is always get my bar so if a sense discontinued you love it you always want to have it on hand especially bring back my bar time because bring back my bars are only available for one month you can add it to your club and sensi will always make it for you there's a lot more to it, discounts, shipping, all that sort of fun stuff, but I'm here to talk about the Bring Back My Bars. Now, 20 are the ones that we as customers and consultants voted on, and then five, our temporary CEO, Dan, actually wanted to bring back, so he picked uh, five as well. Now, here as well as on the list are alphabetical, so I'm not exactly sure which five were his, but... From looking at the list and doing a very quick sniff of these, there's a few that I remember. There's two or three that I already knew beforehand are going into my club. And let me know if you want to see my Scentsy Club. My Scentsy Club has gone through a little bit of a change over the past year, so it's not as big as it was before. But it's still something that I would like to show you guys in the future, if you're down for that. My Scentsy Club ships, I believe, in either February or March. I only have a quarterly club because I still have a lot of wax. But anyway, I'm excited to do a sniff impressions with you guys and let you know which ones I like from this round of Bring Back My Bar. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first one I have is Apple Press. Now, Apple Press says, the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of the summer. So, really, really a pretty apple. Sensi has quite a few apples. Johnny Appleseed, I think, is the one that's most well known. There's a peeling apple. There's a few apples that Sensi's done, but I love this. I love this because it's not just apple. You get the pear and you get the roses, which rose is interesting to me. I love roses. I love florals. I'm a sucker for florals, especially a good one. And you can pick up on the rose mixed with the apple here. But 
and almost makes it seem the most realistic apple to me, only because the apple in here, mixed with the pears, mixed with the roses, it's like you're truly on like that apple orchard and you can smell like the whole entire scene. The apples on the trees, the floral, the ozonic notes of the air, really pretty. I'm excited to melt this and see if it's club worthy. So far, it's a really good apple, something that I could see myself adding to my club. Now, the next one is Autumn Blaze Maple. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't love maple off the bat, so the name threw me off. But the color, I wasn't sure. So this one says, a bountiful harvest of crisp apples and earthy pumpkins with golden maple syrup, warm cinnamon, and a ribbon of smoldering oak. So we have apples, pumpkins, oak, cinnamon, and maple. This is nice. I definitely pick up on the oak and the cinnamon. The maple, not entirely, not like a maple syrup or like a intense maple like candy. It's definitely more like a warm spice with the oak wood. It's really pretty. I really like it. Apples and pumpkins, I am getting like autumnal vibes, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's like, like, apples and pumpkins. It just smells very autumnal. It's pretty. I definitely am not in the mood to melt a fall scent like this right now, but I definitely want to melt it before it goes away so I can see if I want to add it to my club. We're getting all the autumn -y scents out of the way first. Next, we have Autumn Stroll, and this one says, Amble under a bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm wood incense to create a spicy, comforting fragrance. This is nice. It's okay. It's definitely like a spiced plum cinnamon fragrance. Definitely leans like craft store vibes, but not nearly as strong on the cinnamon. It's more of a smooth cinnamon, almost like a like a crushed cinnamon versus like a cinnamon stick. And then the plum and the woody incense, yeah, I can pick up on like a woody note. That's kind of why it's leaning more craft store to me, because of like the wood. It smells like a craft store and you have like all the items that are in a craft store. The wood, the cinnamon, there's no plums in a craft store, but... Yeah, definitely more like a woody, fruity fragrance. Interesting. Again, I definitely have a lot of melting to do before I add these to my club. Because that sounds like something that, if it's warm, it could develop into something more like a woody craft store. Coconut palm. Automatically a no in my club. I don't care for coconut scents. I say that, and then we have the next one. But anyway, coconut palm. A blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli with subtle green notes. Interesting, right? Very interesting. It, it's like coconut body lotion. Yeah. Not for me. It's like a coconutty body lotion. Definitely summery. Definitely. I don't pick up on like patchouli or green notes necessarily. It just smells like a coconut body care. Definitely not in my wheelhouse. Not one adding to my club. But Fall's most delectable dessert Enjoy an unexpectedly exotic touch as pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, and maple sugar are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings. Sorry, guys. I just had, like, a sneezing fit. I just really didn't like that coconut. This one, though, I love. This is really good. To me, this is the creamiest pumpkin pie scent I've ever smelled. And it reminds me of a Vendor Wax coconut scent, and I can't think of what it is. But oh my gosh, this is creamy, this is sophisticated, this is warm, delicious, creamy pumpkin. And I think the coconut shavings are just adding a hint of extra sweetness. Don't let the coconut, like, fool you. It is coconut, but it is more of, like, a sweetened, like, coconut milk. Coconut pumpkin pie, if this performs well for me... This is going to be club worthy. It's really good. This one, I automatically know is going into my club. I had it years ago. I loved it. When it was voted back, Cranberry Muffin, you guys. I was so excited to see this one back. Bursting with bright cranberries enveloped in a buttery brown sugar batter with nuances of walnuts and toffee. This 
is so good. This is like a true cranberry muffin. Bright, juicy, fruity cranberries with just a little bit of the spice to make it like a fall muffin. And then the yellow cake of, like, well, muffin batter. Like, muffin batter, cake batter. Oh, it is so good. It is crumbly. It is yummy. It is delicious. It's going in my club. This was always a strong performer. I'm sure this doesn't change. It's been so long since I smelled this, and it smells exactly like it did years ago. So that's automatically going in my club, Cranberry Muffin. Now this one I was really excited for, and on first sniff, ah, it's not what I was expecting. This is Crumb Top, and I'm such a bakery guy. I love my bakery scent, so I was excited to smell this. The perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert. This is so boring. It just smells like cake. Like, just like cake batter. Nothing else. I was expecting a lot more from it, and it really isn't. It really is just cake. It's just like a rich, creamy cake. So, it'll be a nice blender, but I was expecting a little bit more like cinnamon, sugar topping, like coffee cake. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try it on its own, see how it is. Maybe it develops on warm. But if not, not club worthy, and it's not going to add to my club if it's just a blender scent. It's just not. Now, I was shocked at the amount of fresh scents picked in this Bring Back My Bar, which I love. I love fresh scents in the bedroom and in the office. I don't have a ton of fresh scents in my collection. So seeing this swarm of fresh in this Bring Back My Bar, really exciting. First, Cucumber Lime. For one, how vibrant is this color in this like drab snowstorm winter that we're having? Love seeing this color. This is cool, refreshing blend of mellow cucumber and tangy lime. So good. This is like a cocktail. This is like a cocktail. A lime cucumber spritzer or a seltzer if you don't drink. This is so good. The lime is juicy and fresh and a burst of lime. The cucumber is that watery, seedy, vegetal cucumber, which I know vegetal doesn't really sound appealing, but trust me, it is in this blend. I really like it. I can't wait to melt this. If it's a strong performer, it's going in my club. Really like that one. It's gonna be perfect for spring. This is another one automatically in my club. I remember this from years ago, and this is Flirtatious. Now, Flirtatious says, fruity and vibrant, a combination of green apples, grapefruit, and white amber. This, to me, sounds, like from the description, a lot like a Disney set. Like, I feel like all of our licensed bars kind of smell the same. They're all those, like, apple -y, fruity scents. But this is so good. The grapefruit juice isn't sour. It's like a very sweet, sugared grapefruit. Like a very sugary grapefruit. Mixed with the green apple adds like a punch of like fruit punch. If you're familiar with Pink Apple Punch, the candle from Bath & Body Works, it's not the same by any means, but it gives you that same vibe. That like fruity, delicious, just juicy summery scent. And the, the white amber just adds... A little bit of a smooth, sophisticated scent. Love this. Automatically going in my club. Plus the vibrant pink color of the wax. I mean, just look. It is beautiful color. Love the hot pink. So, automatically going into my club. Next, talk about an easy description. This one is Flower Shop. Just like walking in a flower shop. That's all it says. And that's what it is. Green flower. I definitely think a lot of the YouTubers, I'm excited to watch their videos, are not going to like this because this is straight up a flower shop. Like, you're walked into a flower shop, the greens, the white florals, the roses, the daffodil, I don't know. I know there's roses in a flower shop. I know there's a lot of other flowers, but I can't be specific. But this smells like all of it. The fresh, crisp water, the coolness in the air, the greens, the stems, the leaves, all of the parts of a flower. I love a good floral, and I love this one. So really excited for that. Next, we have fried ice cream. Now fried ice cream, vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. Um, a very cinnamon forward vanilla. This is like a spicy cinnamon vanilla scent. 
emphasis on the cinnamon. I don't, I mean, it's hard to distinguish vanilla and ice cream because ice cream really is just like flavored cream. So it's not exactly, you can't distinct, but it does, it smells just like a very, very cinnamon forward vanilla. So it's good. It's not club worthy on cold, on cold. It's not club worthy. So we'll see. This one, it's, it's a winner, baby. Green tea smoothie. This one, very interesting. Ev energizing green tea and fresh ginger with peach, nectarine, and cranberry. So, ah, this is so good. This is so, so good. I'm, like I said, I'm loving that there's a lot of fresh scents this time. The green color for one is beautiful. I love the vibe. It is like a true green tea smoothie. It's very bright. The green tea you get right off the bat. And to me, I get a lot of the peach and nectarine. It's a very juicy, juicy, fruity scent. It's really yummy. Really yummy. I don't pick up on cranberry, ginger, not so much. It does smell cold though, like it is a smoothie. It smells like a very cold tea drink with those added fruits. So really excited for that one. Scentsy coming in hot with the two coffee fragrances this time. We have hazelnut latte. This is frothy steamed milk, toasted hazelnuts, espresso and vanilla with a dusting of cinnamon. I personally find that Scentsy doesn't do the best with coffee. A lot of the coffee scents just don't add up. I really like this coffee. I really like this coffee. And maybe it's because of the hazelnut. It's a very creamy, toasted hazelnut. It does say toasted hazelnut in the notes, and this is totally toasted. It's warm. It's comforting. It's really, really good. The hazelnut is just warm, the milk and the espresso, vanilla, a hint of cinnamon, it nails it. It is so good. This smells like an iced hazelnut latte. I always drink an ice drink or it could be a cold drink or it could be a hot drink. You guys never know. I like a cold, a cold coffee. So to me, it smells like a cold hazelnut latte. They hit it right on the head with that. Really impressed. This guy blows me away. Mediterranean Spa, you guys. Relax with the smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. Not much. <laughs> this is so good. This is clean sheets without smelling like laundry. This is a day at the spa without smelling like eucalyptus. This is comforting. This is cozy up with a book. This is refresh the house. This is a little bit of everything. It's so good. I can't even describe it. It's warm. It's ozonic, but it's fresh and it's clean. It's a little bit of everything. This is perfection. I was really shocked at this one. Mediterranean Spa going into my club. And I hope it performs and I think it will. It's probably going to be like the first bedroomy scent that I try just so I can really get a good vibe and a good read from it. Oh, there's so many good ones this round, guys. So many good ones, including Melon and Apple Granita. Obsessed with the color. Obsessed with this color. This is Crisp Apple and Sweet Melon Surge with Sparkling Citrus. I think this is the one that most people are excited about and voted for to come back. For one, again, the color. This is cantaloupe. This is straight up cantaloupe and apples, a little bit sparkly, a little effervescent from the Granita. This is so good. If you guys liked strawberry and rock melon, it's not the same because you don't have that strawberry note, but if that's not in your club, I think you'll be very happy with this one. I think you'll really like it because it just adds a little bit more pop, but you have that honeydew or that honeydew, that cantaloupe note. So good. I'm such a sucker for melon, and I find melon in wax, the throw is strong, and it lasts the longest for me. It just lingers in the room, and you can really, really smell it. Another one, pear blossom and cucumber. I'm telling you, this Bring Back My Bar is so good. So this one, it's a long one, actually. It's the blooming beauty of spring, a re resplendent garden flourishing with a delicate pear blossom, rain-kissed jasmine, 
honeydew and Meyer lemon smoothed by a splash of cucumber water. I love this. I'm not picking up on lemon. I'm picking up on pear and cucumber for sure. But the pear, it's not a juicy pear. It is a floral pear. This is a floral fresh. It's so nice. It's watery. And I love, I love aloe water and cucumber. I like that cucumber and lime. I will say, if I had to pick between cucumber and lime and this for my club, I would pick this on cold. I'm going to melt them both and see how they perform, but right now, this is so good. This is so refreshing. This is, like, drinkable. It's so good. Like, it's making my mouth water in a different way. Oh, my gosh. Really good. Really fresh. The cucumber edge, just that hint of freshness. I really, really like that one. Very oddball in the group. Peppermint Rush. I feel like well, we're in the heart of peppermint season, but meanwhile, these are like so fresh. This says peppermint, sweet vanilla, and a quart of freshly fallen snow. Bright red wax. It smells like peppermint and vanilla. It smells like, like a candy cane scent. It's okay. I don't love peppermint. It's definitely not one that I reach for. This will be a nice nighttime blend, but again... Not one that I reach for. I might actually melt that this week just because it is like December and it is the season, but definitely not like one that I would be whew, rushing to get. Next, we have Perk Me Up, so the other coffee fragrance. And this one says, simply the most perfect cup of coffee you'll ever experience. A strong brew of Guatemala Guatemalan coffee beans and just a touch of hazelnut. Yeah, it's nice. It's definitely one of the better coffees that Sensi's done. I prefer the hazelnut latte because I like the creaminess and I like like the roasted nut aspect. This is like more of a straight up cup of coffee. No cream, maybe a hint of sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. But it's definitely more of like your black coffee. So if you're more into like a black coffee note, definitely check that out. I like hazelnut latte a little better. This one, another surprise, Pima Cotton. I didn't know if I was going to love this one or not. I love this one. This is a light, clean blend of lilies, freesia, and jasmine. It just smells like clean cotton. If you're familiar with Yankee Candles, clean cotton, like Laundry Day from Bath & Body Works, any of those type of like clean laundry scents, that's what this smells like. Like fresh out of the laundry, and I think that Scentsy needs a scent more like this clean than what we have in the catalog with like clean breeze. This screams like you just change your sheets in your bedroom. You have the windows cracked open on a spring day and you just want fresh air and you don't want your scent to compete with whatever laundry detergent you used or you just want freshness. And I do find cracking the windows open in your home actually does help with scent because you're getting that like throw the air is actually like throwing the fragrance and like circulating it in the air so i think in the spring pima cotton will be really good for that one next we have quiver now quiver is innocent vanilla flower warm sandalwood and sultry night blooming tuberose and a seductive scent means to cause a shiver of delight it's a little bit too earthy um deep perfume for me it leans on like the lucky and love like love spell dupe type fragrances it's okay it definitely smells like a victoria's secret perfume i'm not familiar with but it's okay i definitely remember this one from before and it's not going to be club worthy but it'll be nice to melt it is more of that like warm sandalwood like earthy perfume note it's okay not for me Rum Raisin Cookie. I was excited for this one. Freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. We had a fragrance a couple years ago, Walnut Raisin Muffin. I feel like it was a sleeper hit. I don't know if people loved it or not. I enjoy it, but it's not one that I like crave. But when I melt it, I enjoy it. This one, I feel like it's the same. I can see how it smells like an oatmeal cookie. And I find that a lot of times in like vendor wax, oatmeal scents come across way too spicy. This smells more like an authentic oatmeal cookie. 
but I don't know if it's one that I want to mount all the time. This is one I'm not sure. Could go in my club if I melt it and I end up loving it. I don't know. I'm on the fence with this one. The raisin is definitely in there, but it's more spiced, but not overly spiced, like traditional oatmeal cookie scents. I, right now, I like walnut raisin muffin better, but we'll see. I'm not sure. Next, we have spiced berries. Now, this one, frankincense and myrrh waft between decadent berries to create a timeless scent. This is okay. It's just like the name Spiced Berries. I don't think it's anything super special. It just smells like a spiced berry. It's nice, but again, not one to write home about. So we'll see. <sighs> Sticky Cinnamon Bun. I promise there's one more that I still like in the rest. This is not it. Cinnamon and sweet icing with warm, nutty nuances. My problem is I find that a lot of brands, whether it's retail, whether it's vendor, whether it's Scentsy, they always make cinnamon buns and cinnamon roll scents smell like red hot cinnamon. And that is what this is. It's like red hot cinnamon. And also, have you guys noticed, are your clams like this too? I don't know if they're starting to use like recycled materials, but they're very thin very thin. So I don't know. Are you guys noticing it? Specifically the sticky cinnamon bun clam? Leave comments down below. I'd love to know. But yeah, it leans way more red hot cinnamon than I would like because like fresh cinnamon buns in the oven are like cinnamony, sugary, the yeasty dough. I feel like this is missing a lot of the elements of a cinnamon bun. I'm just getting cinnamon. So don't love that one. Next one is vanilla cream. Now, vanilla cream is French vanilla and a hint of coconut milk. What says a touch? It's good. It's okay. It smells like vanilla cream. It does. It just smells like a very creamy vanilla. Another mixer scent. Maybe I mix the vanilla cream and the sticky cinnamon bun to mellow it out. I don't know. But right now, that's all I'm getting. It's like a very warm creamy vanilla. So it's okay. Nothing to write home about. This one, last but not least, Woodland Suede. I love. This is Retreat to a Tranquil Wooded Wonderland, redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, musk, and bright winter lemon. This is so good. This is sophisticated. This is the most masculine out of all of them. I feel like there's always like a masculine scent from One the Green Wax. I love this color. It's really, really nice. Do you guys hear the wind? It's crazy. Yep, yeah, it's like the lemon, I can get a very small hint, very small hint in the background. Oak and cedar, absolutely. You get those woody nuances, the masculinity of it. And then the, the suede musk makes this like a bedroom scent, makes this like you have the most comforting sheets in a masculine bedroom. It's really nice, really warm. I really like this. I think this is gonna develop a lot more on warm and really come in to be like a super cozy scent. So really impressed with that one. And that was it. Those were the 25 Bring Back My Bars. Just going through the list. Apple Press, Coconut Pumpkin Pie, Cranberry Muffin, Cucumber Lime, Flirtatious, Flower Shop, Green Tea Smoothie, Hazelnut Latte, Mediterranean Spa, Melon Apple and Granita, Pear Blossom and Cucumber, Pima Cotton, and Woodland Suede. 13 out of 25. So almost half of them I want to add to my club. Am I going to add them all to my club? No. I think the process that I'm going to do is I'm going to melt the ones that I don't want to add to my club to see if that changes. And then towards the end of the month, melt the ones I really like and decide. So like, I know Cranberry Muffin. I know Flirtatious. And then it's like the debate on like Flower Shop, Cucumber Lime, Pear Blossom and Cucumber Green Tea Smoothie. Like those are a lot of fresh scents. 
I love Fresh. I really enjoy them. But are all four or five going to go into my club? Probably not. I'm going to have to decide which ones throw the best. And I do want to let them sit for a little while. So letting them sit for a couple weeks to really get the oils to develop will will decide, be the deciding factor for me. And if worse comes to worse, I will add them to my club at the end of the month and then like do a quarterly so that way I don't get them right away and then I can still play around to see how I feel. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Did you guys pick up the Bring Back My Bar kits if you're consultants? And if you're a customer, let me know what you're most excited about in January. I'll leave my website down below. Feel free to shop with me. No pressure. There's plenty of other awesome consultants out there too if you have a consultant. If not, I would love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. I love you all so much. Make it a better world. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And happy 2022 end and happy 2023 beginning. Have a good one, guys. Bye.